Hey, what is going on guys? It's Bailey from Play Gaming for Fun here with some Sacred Fear Me gameplay. I've used so much of his gameplay lately, and honestly, I just can't do any gameplay anywhere near this good myself. So we're just going to keep on using his gameplay. He's kind enough to keep on giving it to me. But what we're talking about today is the Xbox Live Games with Gold for October. It's not October yet, but Major Nelson has already revealed what the Games with Gold will be for next month. So on the Xbox One, because that was the one I was most excited for to have announced, Xbox One will be getting Chariot, which is a newer Xbox ID game. So it's an indie game. However, it's not one of those crappy indie games you'd see on 360. It's, you know, a very professionally made game. Kind of reminds me of Limbo. A lot of you have probably had never heard of it. I had never heard of it until I watched the launch trailer. So I will have a launch trailer for Chariot linked in the description. But for your Xbox 360, much, much better options. They'll be getting two games. Uh, Bad Company 2, that's Battlefield Bad Company 2 for the first half of the month, and Darksiders 2 for the second half of the month. Now, I love Bad Company 2. Super excited to see this for free, and super excited to see people back to playing Bad Company 2 as Halo Reach player count spiked over 100,000 when it became free. So, no doubt people will be back to playing Bad Company 2, but the real moral of the story is the game is only $2 at GameStop, so you have to feel kind of cheated, but the big news is, hey, EA finally giving away a game for free. EA hadn't done one of the games with gold, and people kind of never expected him to. People always had this idea that EA was this greedy company who'd never give away a game, but when Bad Company 2 really is only $2 on disc, what are they really giving away? Well, I do expect them to be shoving the Vietnam DLC down our throats, trying to make a quick buck off of that. But on the other hand, it's a great game, and I'm just excited to have more people playing it. Darksiders 2, I don't really have an opinion on Darksiders 2 because I probably won't play Darksiders 2, seeing as I'm not into that kind of genre. Chariot, though, on the Xbox One, I'm a bit more excited for. I, I totally had doubts about playing any kind of puzzle game on a console. I thought puzzle games were mostly for your phone, but when I played Limbo for the first time, I decided, you know, this isn't really all that bad, and Chariot's definitely not Limbo, but I do think it's going to be a great game. I guess it has co-op, local co-op. I don't know about online co-op, but I will have the launch trailer for that in the description, and I was really hoping with, with Halloween they would have the Dead Rising 3, like, $10 arcade game, the uh, Super Ultra Turbo whatever thingy. I was really hoping that would be a free game on Xbox One, but I guess not. And I guess Crimson Dragon is still going to be free because I guess Chariot's replacing Super Time Force is free. So Crimson Dragon has been free forever. They really need to just kick that thing off. It, nobody even really liked it. I don't even know why they keep keeping it for free like it's some great thing. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I'm super sorry that I don't post more, but with working five days a week and school five days a week, I really only have time to do this on the weekends. That's pretty much what you can expect from me in the future for like the rest of the year, I guess, unless I get around to doing more scheduled uploads, which I kind of tried out for a while, making more videos in the weekend than scheduling them, and you just kind of feel out of sync with things because, you know, you upload a video that you did like a week ago, and then people are only seeing it now, and you seem like you're kind of behind on the times and on the news, but... Thanks for watching, guys. What do you guys think of the games with gold for October?